Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to another video. I'm sorry it's taken me so long, but I tend not to put videos up unless they're worth putting up. I don't put anything up for the sake of it. So in this series of short tutorials, I'm going to show you how you can set up and host your very own virtual server in the Oracle cloud to use as as you wish legally, of course. And not only that, I'm also going to show you how to use it to host your very own WordPress website. And I promise you won't need to spend a penny. Unless, of course, you want to have your own domain name, which you can purchase for around £10 a year. But we'll get on to that later. So first off, the question you may have is, well, why would I want to do this? Well, a simple answer is, it's a good place to dip your toe into the water of hosting your own website without spending any money on places like GoDaddy or Ionus or Fast Hosts, etc. Well, I could also host my own website right from my own computer, I hear you say. Yeah, you could, but do you keep your computer on 24-7? And do you really want to share your bandwidth with the multitudes of people wanting to access your website? Maybe not. So the process I'll take you through will be a little bit technical, but anyone can do it, I promise. As long as you follow me step by step, you'll see how easy it is and the benefit of having a free hosted website server in the Oracle Cloud kept running 100% of the time by one of the most iconic information tech giants of the world, Oracle. So let's start by opening up a browser. And don't worry, if you're using Windows or a Mac or Linux, which is what I'm using here, all operating systems have a web browser. So in the address at the top, I'm going to type in oracle.com forward slash cloud forward slash free. And I press enter. And straight away, we can see start for free. And notice below the always free services. Services you can use for an unlimited time. So what we're interested in here is the AMD Compute VMs. What's a VM? Well, it's a virtual machine. Imagine this, a computer which has multiple central processing units. You've probably heard of multi-core like an Intel processor with 12 CPU cores or an AMD processor with 12 CPU cores and 32 gigs of memory and maybe six terabytes of storage space. Imagine splitting that machine's resources up into 12, so each machine had one core, 2 gigs of RAM, and 500 gig hard disk space. That's pretty much how a virtual machine is made up. It's through resources. A bit like a hotel is made up of one big building with many rooms, and in those rooms is a toilet, a shower, sink, heating, lighting, which is all the resources being fed power and staff by the overall building. Anyway. Let's click on Start for Free. And we're met with a screen asking us for some information like your country. So I'm in the United Kingdom. So let's select that. I'm going to select my name. And my email address. I'm going to tick the box to say I am human and it wants me to uh, please click an image containing a plant. Oh, that's a plant, that's a plant, that's a plant, that's a plant. And it wants me to do it again. It just wants to make sure that I am a human. OK, now it wants to verify by email. So I'm going to click the verify by email. And we'll go ahead and have a look at our email. And there it is. It's just dropped in there. Hello, Jason. Thanks for your interest in creating an Oracle Cloud account. Uh, we'll verify the email. And now it wants us to set a password. So I'm going to set...
password there. We'll confirm it there. Now it wants to know what sort of company am I? I'm just an individual. We'll keep this as a, a cloud account name, Jason30. Okay. Well, I might just call it Super Pertinex, as that's the name of my uh, YouTube channel. My home region. Okay, let's have a look down here. Europe. UK. That'll do. We'll tick the box. Terms and conditions and then select continue. Now it wants my address information. Okay, now here comes the scary bit, but don't be scared. I promise it's even though it wants payment verification, it only wants the payment verification just to know that you're a human. You're not a bot trying to get this for free. They take this as confirmation of who you are. They're not going to use it to charge you for anything unless you upgrade your package later on. But we're not going to do that. So I'm just going to click on add payment verification. And I'll choose my credit card. And it's going to be a visa. And even though it's going to bill me 80 pence, it's just going to do it and then give it me back. And now I can select a tick for the agreement to start my free trial. And then eventually you should see this screen saying, please wait while we finish setting up your account. And then we get this nice message. Thank you for signing up for Oracle Cloud. And it looks like it's going to take us about 15 minutes. So we might as well go and grab a cup of tea. So let's call it there and we'll continue in part two. Thanks for watching.